This is Word Level 1, Chapter 3, Setting Tabs Using the Ruler. Before we begin this particular assignment, we're gonna, I'm going to talk to you about what the ruler is. The ruler is this information right here. This is the ruler. If you do not have your ruler, you can always click on View, the tab, and you want to place a check mark by the ruler. By doing that, that enables your ruler to be set. If you remove the check mark, it removes the ruler. First of all, I want to show you where your tabs are located. Your tabs are all the way over here to your left, over here to your left. This is not your tabs. These are called indents. If you put your mouse on the first one at the very top, it's going to tell you it's called the first line indent. The one right up under there is called the hanging indent. And the one, the third one up under there is called the left indent. These will be used later on in your chapter assignments, later on. But we're going to concentrate this morning, or at this time, we're going to concentrate on our tabs. So let's begin. We're going to set three different types of tabs. The first tab is going to be a left tab. The second tab is going to be a center tab. And then the a uh, third tab is going to be a right tab. So I want to show you how to do it just using your ruler. We're going to set the first tab, which is going to be left, at the 5.5 marker on the ruler. So we're going to set it about right here. Now, if you're not good at gauging as to where your, your settings are, you can hold down the Alt button on your keyboard, and then I'm going to just move, move my tab here, and if I move it left to right, I'm moving it to the right, I'm moving it to the left, you can see it's going down, my Alt key, I'm still holding it, I'm going to put it at 0.5, about right, here, and I'm going to move it over just a little bit, that's uh, my 0.5. Now my 3.25 I need to make it center. So this right here is already left. I'm going to click it one time and guess what? When I click it one time I turn that tab into center. So I'm going to hold my Alt key down and I'm going to go about 3 and I'm, gonna much, I'm looking for 3.25 and as you can see my ruler going across there is 3.18, 3.2, 322, 3, 4, it's getting there real close, 3.25, okay, now I'm going to change my last tab to make it a right tab, so that means I got to go back over here to the left, and I need to make it a right tab, and I click one time, and there it is, there's my right tab. Holding my Alt key down, I want this to be right at 6. This is really easy because it's just going to click right there on, this, on the 6. So as you can see, this is my tab. My left tab is 0.5. My center tab is 3.25. And then my right tab is 6. Okay? Now, I'm getting ready to type in my information. All caps. And I'm going to center. Now I'm going to press enter. Turn my center off. Make it left align again. And now, <clears throat> before I begin typing, I have to go to the first tab margin marker, which is here. My cursor is blinking here, so my tab marker is here, which means I have to press the tab key first to get to that first marker. I'm going to type in type title. And I'm going to tab, then I'm going to type in the word price, then I'm going to tab, then type in the word date, then I'm going to press enter. I'm going to tab again, type in my first line, I'm going to tab my price to 40, tab, and then I'm going to type in
and as you can see it's working always tab first to get to your tab stop You can see this is how it's done.